What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for the Lions.com, PlayPix.com. Going to talk Monday Night Football, Dolphins at the Saints. Hit that subscribe button. Everything we do, absolutely free. Give us a thumbs up, then let us know in the comment section how you are going to play this game as we sit right now. Of course, we've seen this thing flip on its head. This was the Saints as three-point favorites. Now we have the Dolphins as three-point favorites. And this is on the news that not only... Taysom Hill, but Trevor Simeon both on the COVID-19 list for the Saints. And Ian Book is going to be your starter. Rookie Ian Book, who has never taken a single snap in the NFL. So with that, that is where we land on all of this. And the Saints injury report isn't all that great either. It looks like he could be without both of his starting tackles in this game as well. Of course, a couple of other guys at on the COVID-19 list. And listen, these guys can test out at any time. We've seen some of these guys test out, um, but we just don't know, right? And so this is one of those deals where if you wanted to monitor this thing all the way up until 90 minutes when inactives and actives come out, I couldn't blame you. I think that'd be perfectly fine. But we do know right now that it's going to be a shorthand, one way or another, it's going to be a shorthanded Saints team because all these guys aren't going to test out. And we know there's just regular injuries on that side of the ball as well. And the Dolphins, actually one of the most healthy teams in the NFL right now. So we're not really worried about the the Dolphins and what they're bringing to the table in this one. And so you can see right here, we also get the little news blurb. So all you got to do is come find the... Uh, Come find the Monday Night Football, and you'll you'll be able to find these little news blurbs in here as well. So here's the matchup, and this is pretty you know this is pretty cut and dry right here as to kind of what I think that the Dolphins are going to do in this game. And you take a look, and the big advantage is going to be the Dolphins' defense, specifically their blitz game, going up against a rookie quarterback that's never taken a snap in the NFL. If you remember the Dolphins' game from a few weeks ago. Do you remember how often they blitzed Lamar Jackson over and over and over and over again, sometimes just sending the house at him every single time? And he had real trouble picking that up. It was a complex scheme that they were doing. They were disguising stuff very well. And and with that, they just kept him really, really confused the whole time. And, And Lamar Jackson's been in the league and taking snaps. In the NFL, Ian Book is not. Lamar Jackson actually has some some talent on that team at the receiver position, at the tight end position, and Mark Andrews and and Mar- Marquise Brown and whatnot. And you do not have that on the Saints side here at all, actually. You've got a team that has really no weapons at all at the receiver position, and then you're dealing with Alvin Kamara, and that's about it, right? Alvin Kamara, Alvin Kamara, and more Alvin Kamara. That is really what this team is all about. Now, the Dolphins de- the Dolphins offense has not been lighting it up either, and you're going up against the Saints defense that is incredibly good. If you look at the advanced metrics, the Saints defense against the run, against the pass, it's going to be right up there at the top of the league, and they continue to do this week in and week out. Last week, yeah, I understand that Tom Brady lost not one, not two, but three guys in that game, his three top pass catchers in that game, but still, They shut out Tom Brady last week, this defense. Now, the offense only scored nine points, but they won the game nine to nothing. So when you have a defense as good as the Saints defense, an offense that is not really explosive, that being said, the Dolphins offense, even though it's not explosive, it's been really efficient lately. The list of teams that they have played, not a murderer's row, but there's still something to be said in the NFL for just being incredibly efficient and going on the win streak that they have starting one and seven and now being seven and seven on the six game win streak. So while we don't think that this Dolphins offense is going to light up the Saints defense, they won't. The Saints defense is too good. We certainly don't think that Ian Book is going to have any success against this Miami defense, which by the way is really, really strong at the cornerback position. So they're okay playing one-on-one and they're certainly okay playing one-on-one against the receivers that the Saints are going to roll out which is why this total has been beat to hell and is down to 37 right now. It's almost like on principle you play the over, but I'm not running to the I'm not running to the counter to play it. That said 37 is ridiculously low for a dome game. Listen, we see we see totals get this low when there's weather games and stuff, but 37 in a dome game is just ridiculously low. And if anything, you would just play the over on principle alone. 
But what I think is going on here, and look, I happen to be, I have no life, right? I mean, I do this sports stuff for a living. So, I mean, I happen to be sitting at the computer whenever the the news came through that it looked like that both the quarterbacks were going to be out. I was able to pop on the Dolphins when they were still three-point dogs. Now the Dolphins are three-point favorites. If I had, if I didn't have that ticket in my account, how would I play this? I'd probably still play the Dolphins as three-point favorites. And even as bad as this, not, I'm not going to say bad. It's not bad. It's efficient. It's just not explosive. It's boring, I should say, basically, as this offense is. Short passing game, dink and dunk. That's just what Tua does, and that's what they do with this offense. But how many points are the Saints going to be able to put on the board? With Ian Book at quarterback, a guy who's never taken a snap in the NFL. I mean, he is going to see 80% of his dropbacks are he's going to be getting blitzed. Maybe more. They might try to blitz. They might see what happens if they blitz every single time to see what he's able to do. And I imagine he's not going to have very much success going up against this this Dolphins defense. That again, yes, it has been a soft schedule. It is still a top five defense over the last month of the season. In success rate, EPA allowed, all the different things like that. Now, you can point and say, yeah, but look at the teams they played. Well, look, look at what the Saints are going to put on the field, right? A rookie quarterback that's never taken a snap, probably without his two starting tackles. And no, literally no skill position, no skill at the wide receiver position at all. So the offense has to basically 100% run through Alvin Kamara. And so that defense then at that point can just line up, just play a super heavy box all the time. Let those super talented corners play one-on-one against not very good wide receivers and see what happens. And I imagine that's what's going to go on in this game with the Dolphins. So uh, if I didn't have the plus three, I'd, I'd play the I'd play the three. Uh, you know, I'd lay the three with the Dolphins here because I don't have any success. I, I don't have any confidence whatsoever that the Saints are going to be able to have any success in this moving the ball and scoring on a consistent basis for sure. Total thirty seven. Like I said, it's so incredibly low. I think you can only play the over on principle at this point. But I'm not running to the counter to get it done. I think the other way that you can go about atta- attack in this game is. If the if the Dolphins happen to get down early and you can get this thing at even closer to a pick'em, then you play the Dolphins live as well, right? I mean, what if the Saints get the opening kickoff and are able to go down and and score of some way, shape, or form, field goals, touchdown, whatever it might be? You know, the scripted series. You know, we we see teams come out and look really really great on that first series and then don't look very good after that. That could be the case here with this as well. So I think a, a Dolphins live look is another thing that I'm going to be certainly looking at as well throughout the course of this game. On the prop side of things, guys, listen, if I believe that Ian Book is just going to get absolutely blitzed to hell and he's going to be making quick decisions and doing all kinds of stuff incredibly quick, I think there's going to be lots of passes close to the line of scrimmage, lots of safety valve passes, Probably lots of screens because what what do you do when a team wants to blitz you all the time, right? You have to run screens to try and keep them honest. And so with that, I think that there's going to be a ton of targets for Alvin Kamara in this game. I like both backs, if we be perfectly honest, in the receiving game. I like the over 24 and a half yards for Kamara and then... And then Mark Ingram as well actually has an incredibly low receiving yard total at eight and a half. And I would play the over on that as well. I think both of these backs are going to be utilized a ton because you're going to have to see a you're going to have to get this quarterback some high percentage throws. You're going to have to get him stuff close to the line of scrimmage. And like I said, you're going to have to run a screen game. You're going to have to run some screens and stuff like that to try and slow down all the blitzes that he's facing. So I really do like a ton the receiving yards for both of the backs for the Saints. I weirdly have a a lean to the over, despite the fact that I don't think he's going to necessarily have a great game. But they have put the Ian Book passing yards at just so incredibly low at 174 that I have a pretty decent lean to the over there as well. Maybe end up playing like a you know like a quarter unit or something like that on that. But I mean, look, it's so incredibly low. They're not going to have any success running the ball really because, like I said, I think they're going to the the Dolphins have the luxury then of just loading the box up trying to stuff the run against Alvin Kamara and say, hey, rookie that's never played before, beat us. Beat us through the air. So I think he's going to have a lot of drawbacks in this game. So maybe something like that as well. On the other side, where I don't think 
one of the running backs is going to have a big game is Miles Gaskin and 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 it doesn't even look like we can find Miles Gaskin rush yards right now. So look, I would find some some Miles Gaskin props if those things pop up throughout the course of um uh, if those things pop up throughout the course of the day and play some unders on the rush yards there. This this Saints run defense is legit. It is so incredibly good. And with that, I just can't imagine the Dolphins are going to beat their head against the wall over and over and over again. So with that short pass game, again, they dink and dunk and everything. That's what they do anyway. So I would go that direction, play unders on Miles Gaskin yardage whenever that stuff starts to pop up and gets populated at your book of choice. Like I said, guys, I think the Dolphins just have the have the bigger advantage here when it comes down to it. You do have Tua, who's been incredibly efficient. Now, it's not explosive plays or anything like that, but he's been incredibly efficient. And... Going up against a, a rookie quarterback here that I think this defense is going to be able to cause some real havoc. And I don't think the Dolphins are going to have to score all that many points in order to be able to cover the three. So I do like that. And again, live look, if they happen to get down, I think that's a really good play um, to get in on the Dolphins in at that point. And then do really do love the uh, the running back overs, both of the running backs for the Saints overs on their receptions. Because again, like I said, everything close to the line of scrimmage, high percentage throws, screen plays, things like that to, uh, to help out Ian Book in this so as always guys everything we do absolutely free so go ahead hit that subscribe button really do appreciate the support we're doing a giveaway this week as well so you're automatically entered if you are a subscriber so you want to go ahead and do that give us a thumbs up and then let us know in the comment section how are you going to play this game what do you think is going on here is there any props that you're looking at as well um help everybody else out and uh, good luck on all your bets here on monday night football